home again. I hope this visit's better than the last. Anyway, Bloodworthy sent directions and the passcode for the elevator. Should take us straight up to the top floor. You ready to hit the promenade in style? Torian, you're my arm candy. Ma'am? Lock down the ship. We'll meet at the party. Just me? Come on, that'll take forever. I'll help. Torian, I want you along. She's got all the help she needs. I'm sorry. They refused to cooperate. No sign of the fugitive. No matter. Advance the timeline. Adeline, call in support. Bendis was certain you could be reasoned with. I was mistaken to indulge her. This is your last opportunity to surrender peacefully. Don't be as foolish as your friends here. That's not a good arrangement. What's it gonna take to get you off my back? I don't negotiate with criminals. Adeline. Take her down! You just signed your own death warrant. There will be no more even-handed offers, only swift, definitive retribution. I'll find you. I always do. You'll try. What about them? We pay our respects for the hole in that Jedi's head. Skira. I can get behind that. Mako, get everyone back to the ship. We're leaving. I just finished getting ready. We had party crashers, Mako. It's a bloodbath. You're kidding. You're not kidding. Okay, I'm on it. Hey, come here, quick! The attack claimed the lives of a delegation of Jedi and Republic officials on Nar Shaddaa. The apprehension of the individual responsible for these continued acts of aggression is our top priority. Senators, I assure you, the orchestrators of these attacks will be made to account for them. Why did the Supreme Chancellor of the Republic just give an address about you? Delegation, my eye. This is a frame-up. There's gotta be more to this. I think frame-up is selling it short. The Republic just placed you at the top of its most wanted list. The list of charges is a kilometer long. Destroying the cruiser Aurora, resulting in the loss of her entire crew, including the Jedi Master Kelly and Jaro. Assassinating the Senator of Ithor. Sabotage resulting in the destruction of the ecosystem of... Uh, it just keeps going. Half of this stuff we didn't even do. I'll clear my name. That's a promise. I don't think they plan to let you dispute the charges. They're offering a 10 million credit bounty for your capture. Mom would be proud. Congratulations, that's more than every price on my head combined. Better get off Nar Shaddaa. Kid's right, every two credit hood on this moon is gonna be gunning for us. Before you plot a destination, it gets worse. Accusations are flying all over the holonet and Imperial officials are making a big show of burning any bridges between us. I don't know what the Empire's idea of full cooperation is, but laying low in Imperial space is looking a lot less likely. You're looking real short on friends right now. Where do we go? Here's how we play this. Get in tight with the huts. You've got pull with them, and ten mil wouldn't even make them blink. Become hut lackeys? Pass. Kid, I've been ducking poetic justice since before you were born. Butt out. Guys, guys, guys! We just got a high-priority communication. We've got enough problems. Play nice. What's the message, Mako? It's an Imperial summons. We're to rendezvous with an Imperial fleet in the Outer Rim to discuss our recent activities. Discussion? Yeah, I bet. It doesn't sound like a request.
We're coming out of hyperspace. Everyone up front. There's the fleet. I hope you're right about this. Oh, look on the bright side. They open fire, and we'll be breaking the galactic record for going from zero to space dust. Battle stations? Warm up the turrets. Keep the targeting computers on standby. Charging to full. Quiz, shields. Leah Starling and Bungo. We get work done on the shields recently? No, I'm pretty sure we haven't. Andy, little devil, ain't he? Hail the flagship. You know this is probably a trap. Even if they don't shoot us down, handing us over to the Republic would probably help deflect the flack they've been getting. I doubt the Empire is interested in doing the Republic any favors. I guess, but they're putting up appearances for some reason. Better not take any chances. Hailing, they're transmitting a flight path. We're to dock in Hangar 8. I'm taking us in. Be ready for anything. My presence was requested. I've been ordered to bring you before my lord, Darth Tormund. Submit to search and seizure, and come quietly. I don't really care for that plan. Alien filth has no right to question Imperial protocol. You will not be allowed before a Lord of the Sith armed. You will comply, willingly or by force. Anyone still around by the time the Lieutenant here hits the ground, joins him. Seize this scum! Cowards! You'll all be court-martialed! What are you waiting for? You won't get away with this! Quite a pile we stacked up. So, do we make a run for it? I'm sending this ship down in flames. I know better than to argue. Mako, lock out access to this hangar, and be ready for further instructions. No sweat. We're all counting on you. I see you've disposed of your escort. Can't say I appreciate Sith hospitality. Start. Destroy what is mine again, and I shall return the favor. <laughs> Gonna remember that. Today, Corellia's leadership swore allegiance to the Sith Empire. Despite total occupation, the people openly rebel. What should have been a bloodless victory has escalated into full-scale war. The Treaty of Coruscant is no more. I want the Supreme Chancellor's head in my hand when I deliver victory to the Dark Council. You will provide it. What makes you think I'm gonna work for you? Refusal would be unwise. If wealth and acclaim are not enough incentive, perhaps revenge will motivate you. You have made an enemy in the Supreme Chancellor's closest advisor. Do what I ask and you will have your opportunity for vengeance. Don't give me a reason to change my mind. So long as our enemies remain on Coruscant, they are beyond even your reach. But Jun Seros will not be difficult to draw out. Getting to him will put you within striking distance of the Supreme Chancellor. Corellia is where we will put them down. There are obstacles that must be removed before we can act. You will remove them. I'm afraid I don't deal with obstacles. Some old enemies from the last war have re-emerged. A Republic privateer made famous assisting Hilo Vs break the Mandalorian's blockade. And a Kuwati noblewoman credited with orchestrating numerous successful uprisings on Imperial-occupied worlds. Consider them dealt with. This star chart shows the last destination of your first target. Make it his final. My subordinates will brief you upon arrival. Mako, the situation's taken care of. Unlock the hangar. I'll explain when I get back. Really? Th that's it? Okay, see you soon. Mako, run this data. All right, just one sec. Okay, I've updated our astrogation computer. This is a pretty obscure system. Mamba Thanks, Blizz. I think I've got it. 
Last I'd heard, Bell Savis wasn't even worth colonizing. The Imperials have it designated as a Republic prison world, though. I like a sense of mystery and excitement. That's something I like about you, even if your taste is a little questionable. Lieutenant Hall, Imperial Intelligence. I have orders to act as your liaison. I have prepared a briefing, should you require it. Hit the high points, quickly. Your target is Zael Barrows, ace pilot, and daring as they come. His vessel was observed landing on Belsavis before our forces invaded. We believe he is still inside the Republic prison facility on the surface. Our landers can insert you into the Republic fortifications relatively near the last known location of Barrows's vessel. I need any additional intel about the area. You'll be heading for a starship hangar in the administrative wing. Expect resistance. We have already disrupted the Republic's ability to maintain control of their captives. The biggest threat to you will likely be the prisoners themselves. It will be absolute pandemonium planetside. This is my direct hollow frequency. I am on call, should you need me. Won't be dull. What is it, Mako? I just touched down. I've been combing through the Imperials' network since we docked. After cross-referencing their records with data on the Holonet, I hit Pater. Surprise, surprise. There are a lot of people locked up on Bell Savis with outstanding bounties. That was good thinking. Just doing my job. Most aren't worth much, so I narrowed it down to the best payout. The gang of bandits who heisted a major shipment from the Exchange. This one's all or nothing, so here's the complete list. Oh, and don't worry about dragging them back. These creeps are wanted dead. Sounds like lover boys coming back. Ain't you gonna welcome him home? Convict, take him. Hey, Zale. I like your plaything. Maybe I'll keep her a while. <laughs> you ain't Zale. Tell me where he's hiding, or I'm gonna crush Curly here like a bug. I'm not with Zale, so how about you settle down before anyone has to get hurt? Trying to play dumb? Cute. Ain't gonna work. If killing Zale's little girlfriend don't get you talking, then I can come up with something that will. Looks like we both want the same thing. Zale's head. Ain't nobody killing him but me! Lucky. Hey, girly. You're still the only one left to rat him out. You can just shoot me. I'm not telling you anything. Cooperate, and I'll get you out of this alive. I'm not stupid. I'm dead. Sale, why don't you have to play the hero? I wanted to leave when the first siren sounded. Zale insisted we stay to help evacuate if things got too bad. Too bad. Understatement of the year. Looks like that didn't go to plan. The central power plant failed, and the hangar doors are closed. Even our ship can't put out enough juice to open them. <sighs> We're trapped. Zale stormed off after some argument with a warden, said he had unfinished business. He took M30B to get the central power plant back online, said not to wait for him. That's all I know. I can work with that. Find yourself a better hiding spot. I... I can go? You ain't going nowhere, girly. And your boy's gonna hear all about how you died before I kill him. I said she can leave. And I said she ain't walking out of here. You wouldn't stand a chance against me. Lucky I ain't got time to peel you out of that can. Run, girly. But when I find you, I'm gonna see how much you can scream before your lungs go. It'll be trouble. Cut it a little close there, Em. <laughs> nice trap, you. <laughs> I'd kinda hope the first time I met you would it be captaining your one-way trip to lockup. Things rarely go the way we want them to. That's deep. But you moonlight as a Jedi Master when you're not blowing up orphanages?
Someone's coming. Friend of yours? Hate to disappoint, but even your thick skull won't break through this force field. What are you standing around for? Let's blast this place to pieces! I don't throw temper tantrums. It ain't a temper tantrum! Blast the generators and Zail ain't got nowhere left to hide! Soon as this field drops, <laughs> me and Zail are gonna get reacquainted. If he's dead when I get back, I'm gonna be real upset. Don't you worry. I plan on keeping him alive a good long time. Dirty run! You let him get away, didn't you? It ain't my fault! The rats scurried down this little hole while you were taking a sweet time wrecking the place! Jin Can wouldn't give up where he was going. Guess I broke it. You can't beat answers out of a droid, moron. Moron's what I call runty bounty hunters dumb enough to pick fights! I got an idea how to keep this heap talking. There's lots more junk like this thing, walking around keeping the runts in line. They get built at a plant deeper in. If there's parts of hotwire this trash, then shock some answers out of it. If this is a dead end, you're taking a one-way trip. I ain't taking the trip yet. Place is inside Max Lockup. Ain't getting in there without some major boom-booms. I only got this dinky piece. You blast the place up. I'll haul this junk over and grab us a couple of tech heads on the way. Deal? I suppose I can do that. Come on, come on. Got you right where we want you now. Thought I smelled something burning. Found us a couple volunteers. <laughs> ah. Can't be serious. You want us to try and fix this? There's hardly anything here worth salvaging. I'll give you that one. I only need to get inside its head. Find me something telling me where this man is going. I I, I think we can handle that. Dean, grab a diagnostic pad and a hollow emitter. This might take a little while. want those prisoners, they'll have to crack them out of the tomb. It's out of our hands now. You can evacuate, Warden, but I spent too many years putting those fiends away to let it all be for nothing. Come on, Em. We're heading to the tomb. What's this tomb they're talking about? to miss my shot at that twerp! Leave them alone. I think I know someone who can help. <laughs> my target's last known destination is something the locals are calling the tomb. What can you tell me? Unfortunately, everything we know about the tomb comes from the Republic's limited records. It appears that most of the interaction the Republic had was with the tomb's custodial droids, and only samples were normally allowed to enter. What do you mean by samples? Best guess? Life forms. Based on the contents of the vaults thus far. For what purpose? Your guess is as good as mine. We do know the Republic turned their Imperial prisoners over to the tomb's custodians to prevent their recovery. All of our efforts are focused on regaining entry. I thought nobody's been inside. 
A few of our teams were able to force their way inside, but their actions appear to have set loose things best left imprisoned. Commander Grang is in charge of gaining re-entry to the tomb. He'll be able to give you the current situation. However you get through, if you can reach these coordinates, contact me. I'll bring you up to speed on any discoveries. I'm coming along. I ain't been waiting this long for someone else to have the pleasure of killing Zale. You get me that twerp, I show you where the law hides all the contraband on this rock. Deal? Follow my lead, or I cut you loose. Got it? You boss me around, huh? Fine. But your friend takes a hike, too. In case you're thinking you can pull something. Don't trust him. I don't plan to. Keep your calm open. Cross her, you'll regret it. Horn, I'm in position. What have you got for me? Analysis of data from the custodians is coming slowly, but I believe we found a solid lead. The bulk of the samples taken recently appear to have been interred in a vault we are designating Block 44. The majority of the Imperial prisoners have likely been taken there, making it the probable destination for your target. I don't like working with most likely, Lieutenant. My apologies. Deciphering the data is proving difficult. It's the best we have to work with. It's your call. These are Block 44's coordinates if you decide to pursue it as a lead. If Barrows is sighted elsewhere, you'll be the first to know. Horn out. good. Nobody shook. Truce! Look, we could settle our differences, but not right here. I have to stop the Empire. I'm not buying whatever it is you're selling. We've got you outgunned. If you want to fight, I can give it to you. You help us foil their rescue. Permanently. And I'll go quietly. You should have made an offer earlier, Barrows. Can't blame a guy for trying. Fan out! You're mine now! Runt! I was so close. So close! I would know who you are, and how it is you came to our rescue. Darth Tormund hired me to deal with Captain Zale Barrows. Him. Your master has my thanks. He will hear of your contribution to our cause. I am Lord Andreos Thos. We are what remains of Operations Group One. Have our forces been able to free the Dread Masters? Last I heard, things didn't seem to be going well. That will change. We're standing on potential reinforcements numbering in the thousands. I must see to their release. Carry on with your business, but stay out of my way. Been thinking about this since you dumped me on this rock, Zaley boy. Got it all worked out how you're gonna go. Aren't you gonna do something? You came here for me. What about your bounty? I'm delivering Barrows in the condition he's in. We had a deal! I'm not helping you torture anyone. Fine! Lucky I still need you. Thanks. I don't want to know what he had in store for me. I wouldn't want it to be me. <laughs> You've been rubbing me the wrong way since I met you, but I'll let that slide if you do me a favor. I figured joining up with you is my best shot of getting off of this rock. What you say? I'll kill for you. Fine, but I'll be keeping you on a short leash. Yeah, yeah, lead the way. 
Just get this little twerp out of my sight before I decide to crush him. You here to take Barrows off my hands? I noted your return. I figured it was safe to assume you were successful given your reputation. I prepared a report of your success for Darth Tormund. I have your compensation right here. I could use a friend in Imperial Intelligence. Keep in touch. So long as you're sure to put in a good word for me, I'll do that. I must return to my duties. Again, a pleasure. Everybody front and center. You didn't mention we had a guest. Who's our large friend? Torian's usually punctual. Oh, let the kid have a day off. Better yet, wrap this up so I can get back to mine. He told me he got a message from an old associate. They were going to meet at the cantina. Out here? He tell you anything about this old associate? Not really. You know Torian. You think this wasn't a friendly meeting? He won't answer. Or can't answer. I don't like either. Should we head to the cantina? You're starting to bore me. Who do you think you are? I'm Skadge. Skadge? Okay, interesting. Call me Mako. This thing begging for a treat? Skadge. Don't you worry, I've got it committed to memory. So what's next? I guess find a place big enough for Skadge to bed down. You've been a busy girl. Too busy. You should spend more time with your loved ones before they're gone. I'm extending you an invitation. An opportunity to appreciate what you have before you lose it. But if your little boyfriend is in marriage material, we understand. There'll be plenty of other opportunities for us to meet. If you want a chance to say goodbye, come to Hoth. We won't wait long. Torian, we've got to save him. They so much as scuff his boots and they're dead. If anyone can get him back safe, it's you. Ah, or at least humiliate them to death. So what are we gonna do? Set a course for Hoth. Right, let's do this. starting to think we'd have to finish without you. You've got no idea what you just got yourself into. You don't say. Why don't you come a little closer and explain it to me? Ambush, run! You aren't saying anything your friend doesn't already know. You know, Grand Champion, you've got talent. The Overseers would have scouted you eventually. We could have helped you make a real mark on the galaxy. Now you'll have to settle for your gaudy title and the price on your head. Let him go, before you do something you can't take back. You should really take your own advice. Bounty hunting isn't a game, whatever the Mandalorians think. It's serious business, with serious consequences. Consequences you're about to become intimately familiar with. That's my girl. I owe you, again. My turn to be bait, I guess. Well, I always did find you attractive. Whoa, okay. Save it for the ship, you two. Hey, one of these creeps is still alive and kicking. Oh, this should have been total overkill. Despite what you think, the Great Hunt's no joke. There's a reason Mandalore made me his champion. If this couldn't kill you, I don't know what would. I want out. I don't care how good the money is. It's not worth it. Remember what you saw here today. Remind everyone why crossing me is a bad idea. I'll discourage them. Finished? You know, I was actually starting to miss you. Mako, get back and pull together some data for our next target. Got it. Be careful, you two. Glad to see you both made it back okay. Is she taking good care of you? Always. 
You back on the hunt? We'll head out after a little R&R. &R. I think it's deserved. Seconded. One of Tormund's lackeys forwarded a star chart to a system called Voss. The place isn't even on most maps yet. There's a lot of scuttlebutt about Voss's discovery on the Holonet, but it's pretty far-fetched stuff even for spacer superstition. The astrogation computer's updated and ready to go when you are.